Hey everyone, welcome to the Electric Supercar Channel. Last week we did a Name My Car Challenge. We'll get to that at the end of the video. This week we're going to do a custom gauge cluster. Let's get to it. All right, so I cut up some cardboard, got a uh, general kind of shape or template. And what I'll do is uh, from here, I'll, I'll go ahead and probably make a mold, uh, actually make a plug to make a mold from. And so to do that, I'll probably just put on my, uh, what I've used in the past, the drywall compound, kind of get it looking all nice, um, seal it up and then make, make my mold. All right, I just put the uh, first layer on. It's pretty rough, but we'll let it dry up, kind of smooth it out and put on another layer. Okay, this is after the second time of kind of applying the uh, compound and sanding. Um, you see, still got a little crack and kind of some divots that we still need to clean up, but it's getting close. Um, the other thing is for this particular uh, part that I'm making out of fiberglass, Normally I'll make this really nice and smooth and um, so I can take the mold out of this um, and then the mold will have very little touch-up work. This one I might, I think I'm actually going to do the opposite. I shouldn't say the opposite, but I'm probably not going to get this one super nice. I'm going to take the mold because trying to sand all these inside surfaces, it's somewhat challenging and when I get the mold, it'll be all on the outside. So it'll be much easier to kind of make smooth and nice. So this one I'll probably get just to the place of, you know, no cracks and fairly smooth, and then I'll make, uh, make the mold. Okay, this is after the uh, third go around. So again, I don't really have any cracks anymore. There's just kind of a few places that have just kind of little I don't know, call them places to touch up. So I'm gonna do it uh, one more time, touch it up, sand it, and then I'll go ahead and seal it and start doing the fiberglass. Okay, so I got it uh, sanded. I think it's pretty good. I think it's, again, probably good enough to uh, start the mold from. So I'll go ahead and uh, seal it up and start the fiberglass. All right, so uh, I cleaned it up. 
Then I put a couple layers of primer on. I figured that would stick best to the uh, plug here. And then uh, I did a couple layers of uh, polyurethane. And um, now I'm just gonna let it sit. It says wait three to four hours. And then I'll probably just do some light sanding just to kind of get it smooth so that it'll release. And then put on some PVA. And then it'll be time for the fiberglass. All right, I got the fiberglass laid up. We'll let this cure, probably just do it overnight and see if we can pop it off in the morning. And again, I didn't get the uh, mold surface super clean or the plug surface super clean. So when it comes out, we'll do a lot of uh, finish work before we make the final part. All right, so it's time to take the fiberglass out of the plug. This is Max, he's helping me. So, got the mold out. Um, the plug didn't really survive. So the cardboard and drywall compound just wasn't uh, sturdy enough because basically this, it needs to flex to kind of pull, pull out. Um, the, it, the stuff did come off. It, it, it's, uh, it was kind of sticky. I don't know, I had to go after it with like a putty knife. But uh, now what I'll do is I will go ahead and clean it up, sand it, I may even put some uh, filler on it, you know, try and make it look as good as possible. And then we'll make the uh, real part from this mold. All right, I've done filling and sanding and filling and sanding probably about six or seven times, which means I'm 99% there. So this is looking really good. Um, I was thinking about keeping the corner sharp, but then I remembered I do have to lay fiberglass over this and fiberglass doesn't like to go around those sharp corners. So I will put a layer of primer on this, uh, maybe even clear coat and kind of sand it and even buff it so it uh, releases really easy. All right, so I put a couple of layers of the primer on and then uh, one layer of the clear coat. I'm gonna let that one uh, set up and then do one more and then I'll go after it with some finer and finer sandpaper until it's pretty polished. So sanding, 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 and then more sanding. So, um, I thought about just leaving the 
this mold here um, just with a primer. But the primer is like, I call it soft, like you can dent it with your fingernail. And I just thought for sure it's going to come off with the part. So I just did a uh, top coat, like a hard top coat. Uh, and hopefully I'll dry hard and be a better release surface. So once this dries up, I'll probably hit it with some really, really fine sandpaper to kind of make it uh, just smooth as can be. And then we'll go ahead and uh, try the mold. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but this is about as uh, smooth as I was able to get it. It's not perfect, but it's gonna have to do. It's about uh, the best I can do. So I'm gonna go ahead and wax this up really, really good, maybe two or three times, and then I'll put the fiberglass on. All right, uh, did a coat of the gel coat. Um, I think this is a bad and good thing. So it's like just not sticking. Like it, it I put it on and it kind of just starts to come off. Um, so I think that's good, meaning I think that my mold will release. Um, but again, I want to get a nice um, solid gel coat layer. So I'm going to do a second layer. Alright, got a couple layers of fiberglass on. Um, it's actually quite warm and the fiberglass was setting up really quick so it's kind of challenging getting uh, all the curves because the curves, um, you know, you got it flat and when you fold it over it's got a lot of kind of, we'll call them pleats and you have to kind of get those out. Um, did okay but uh, again it was kind of challenging. Things were setting up pretty quick so I will maybe wait another 20-30 uh, minutes see if I can pop this off. All right, this will be the moment of truth. Uh, I really hope it goes well because uh, we don't have much more time and that wouldn't make for a very good video. Uh, spend a lot of time and not have anything at the end. So wish me luck. All right, uh, this is what it looks like. Um, this stuff is still kind of sticky. So I'll just see if I can wash it off, see what it looks like. Okay, I got it somewhat cleaned up. That's what it looks like. Um, the bot, like this bottom surface, it looks really good. Um, the kind of the top and the side don't look as good. I think that was when the uh, gel coat kind of wasn't sticking and I had to go back with a second coat. Um, so anyway, my, my process here wasn't too bad. I guess the uh, questions I've got for people are, um, what do you seal a mold with? Because it seems like uh, my choice didn't quite work for sealing the mold. And then uh, what do you use for a release agent? Because I've used a PVA before, um, but that just never leaves a nice surface. Um, and the wax, I don't know, seemed to be okay, but again, it, it tended to kind of I don't even know what you call that, but kind of gelled up, made things sticky. So again, I'm thinking that my mold probably wasn't sealed good. And if there's a better release agent, I'd like to know. All right, I set the uh, piece in place there. Looks pretty good. Um, I probably should have thought about this before, but um, I'm gonna get this black. Probably should have used some black gel coat. All right, so for the dash, I've got um, neutral drive reverse, I've got um, brights, turn signals, 
got a battery light. So anyways, there, there's kind of eight all together. So I'm gonna go ahead and map it out where I want things to be. All right, so for the uh, dash display here, so this one will go you know, back behind. Um, so basically it just kind of gives us room on either side. So I'll kind of sketch out what I'm thinking. Okay, so here's my thought for the dash here. Um, this dashed line is kind of the outside here of the iPad. So I'm gonna have it actually, again, the, the iPad is bigger, bigger than this opening. So um, I could either have the bottom hang out or the top. So basically I'm gonna have the top part be out so we won't see this top status bar, which should be fine. Um, so that's kind of what it'll look like. I'm only gonna have the opening be kind of like so. And so I'm not gonna show kind of these sides. And again, the top will kind of arc up and down over here. So that's kind of the thought for the iPad display. And again, this will be kind of back behind, behind this. It'll just be kind of in place. So I'll cut there, around there, and down. And again, it'll just be kind of up against the back. For the other indicators, I'm just gonna do drive, neutral, reverse, right turn signal. Here I've got brights, battery, my park indicator, and left turn signal. So that's the thought. Okay, so this is what the display will look like with the iPad. Um, I think it looks pretty good. And I'll go ahead and drill some holes for the indicators. All right, uh, this is supposed to be matte paint. Um, my thought is I didn't want a lot of reflection. Um, obviously this is right after I painted, so it's a little bit glossy, but again, I think it looks really good. Let's hold that this uh, dry up, and then I'll put kind of the, all the gauges and things in so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so things are kind of just set in place right now, but this is what the dash will look like. Um, I got the car powered on, so we'll see if I can do a blinker here. There's blinker, um, do brights, so brights. So that's switching into reverse. And then go back to neutral. That's what it looks like. All right, name my car challenge. We had so many good entries, so many good ones. There are a couple that just really spoke to me, you know, kind of made me think of the car. I'm actually gonna put the top four in the comments, I want you to give the thumbs up to the ones you like. Uh, whichever one gets the most thumbs up, that'll be the name. All right, some of the names that I really liked were Insane Bolt, Carmen Electra, Watson, and Voltamort. So let me know which one you like. All right, everybody, that does it for this week. See you next week.